Guys and girls, welcome back to the channel, Bangtan Muay Thai MMA. Today I give you three exercises to improve lower body power, lower body explosiveness. Join my warm up. The main lift is called a trapper deadlift high pull. You can see I start from the blocks, means I'm in an athletic stance, like a wrestler, for example. My main focus is a triple extension, so ankle, knee, and hip. Voila! Lifting this weight up, right? Make sure you always warm up from light to heavy. When it comes to the definition of power, power is force times velocity. This is a great exercise to move a relatively heavy weight fast. So make sure your weight is relatively heavy so you still feel fast and explosive while executing. Low reps, I only do three reps. Ta, ta, ta. As I said before, my main focus is in a hip, knee and an ankle extension. So I'm producing force upward. The main thing I want you to focus on is really coming on your forefoot and not using your arms. Your arms are like chains connecting the trap part to your upper body. But the magic is happening down here, right? Okay, guys, join me for my first set. I get my weight on there now. I will be performing three explosive reps on the trapper deadlift, high pull, 15 seconds rest, then I move forward to a dumbbell squat jump, four reps, 15 seconds rest, into a mat ball throw from the, from the floor, two reps, and then I take three minutes rest, and I will do a total of four sets. Yeah. 15 seconds rest. Ah, voila. Oh. One, two, three. Ah. Four oh. dumbbell jumps. Another 15 seconds rest. Mat ball throw from the floor. Oh. Oh. Three minutes rest. That was my first set. Guys, girls, the number one thing I see people doing wrong when they try to improve their power is that they do not rest. Power is not measured by your effort. It's measured by the intensity. And in this case, force times velocity. If I do not rest, I'm not going to move a heavy weight or a relatively heavy weight fast. Your performance will decrease. Even so, it feels like you're working harder because you have so little rest, but you're not achieving your goal. You're training without intention. It's never good to have the intention of, oh, I'm, I'm training hard and get tired. No, that's, that's not a good measurement. Try to move heavy weight, relatively heavy weight fast, and you've got to rest for this. In this case, three minutes. I got two minutes 50 down, so I will chalk up. Chalk in the hand just allows you to keep uh, a tight grip, especially out here, we're sweating a lot. <clears throat> I'm only doing three reps, so I can definitely keep the grip, but you can see I'm sweaty. Now, exercise number one is a trepa deadlift high pull from blocks. If you have blocks, great. If you don't have blocks, just take two 20 kg plates and elevate the bar more or less towards knee level. Da, da, da. Exercise number two is the dumbbell jump. Focus on a quick change of direction. Down, up, four reps. Da. Ta. 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 Make sure you reset after every rep. 15 seconds rest. Exercise number three, mat ball throw from floor. Ta. And rest for three minutes. When it comes to form, especially once you move fast, right? First, you have to be strong. This is not a beginner exercise. First, get strong, then you can move fast. Number one, number two, you always have to find back tension. Means on the first rep, I build fine tension in my body and then accelerate. I hit the floor. I try to find tension back throughout my whole body as quick as possible and go into the next rep. You cannot be completely loose. Look in, I find tension. Then I start. Watch me how I find tension. Da! 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 When it comes to the dumbbell jump, Imagine you're a basketball. How do you make a basketball bounce off the ground higher? By accelerating it hard to the ground, hitting it hard. 
you need to accelerate down quick, create a ground reaction force. Look in. I'm not going down soft and slow. I go down, up, down, up, up. So you got to accelerate on the way down and you got to be kind of stiff, right? A basketball that has not enough air inside the ball is not bouncing off the ground either. You want to have air inside the ball, bounce off. You got to be a little stiff for this. Last one on the mat ball. Just make sure you're not using your arms. It's still a lower body exercise, not a bicep exercise. Ugh! Which means, if you film from the side, I keep the ball quite close to my body and I find my hands under the ball. Right, I'm throwing from here, not from out there. That's it for today. As usual, if you like that stuff, give her a thumb up. Any questions, put them in the comments below. If you want more from me, follow me on my YouTube channel, Peter Fornick. I got an extra series there for you. It's called Train to Compete, where we dive quite deep in that kind of stuff. You see more of my training. You also find me on Instagram, Peter Fornick underscore KCA. And yes, I do offer online training and I would love to work with you. So shoot me a message. Till then, stay strong.